Live. 98 on the Rock Kansas City's Rock Station. Live once again, Rockfest 2014. Just had a little bit of a downpour and sitting in front of me, Sid and Rob from Heaven's Basement. Welcome back, guys. Thank you very much. It is always a pleasure. We had you last year and yeah. uh, and now you're back once again. You're on the Captain Morgan stage at 320. Going to be signing autographs at 7 o'clock and uh, it, it is always such a pleasure to have you guys, man. We got to see you last year and, and just so much fun. Yeah, no, well, last year was one of our favorite gigs of the year, I think. Now that's pretty, that's something to say because I was actually going to ask you, you know, you guys are obviously from the UK. Yeah. But how do the the States crowds compare to, say, those big festivals that you guys do over there? Um, I don't know so much about the crowds, but the festivals are run different. Really? Like in Europe, there's like a million bands, they all play at the same time on 55 different stages and everyone clashes and it kind of sucks. You can't really see the bands you want to see. Right. Whereas here, there's less bands, two stages, nobody clashes. It's awesome, so everyone can see everyone. Yeah. It was perfect for us last year because, you know, we didn't clash with anyone else, so it was an opportunity to show everyone what we do and, right. you know, thankfully get to come back again this year and hopefully do the same. Absolutely. Now, you guys definitely become a Kansas City. I'm, I'm sticking to everything, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I got caught in the rain. It happens. But you guys are pretty much, once again, like a tour monster. Yeah. Is it hard to keep track of yourselves and, and keep everything in order, or do you yeah. pretty much marry yourselves yeah, it doesn't, to the road? It, it does not feel like a year since we were here last really? Really? Yeah. We were talking about it the other day. It feels like a couple of months ago. Because we've been non-stop. We've been around Europe uh, and England, Australia, the States twice, and all that, and Canada again since we were here last. So it's, so you've covered uh, the continents. Yeah, we've done it. Oh, But so, yeah, it's, it's just what we love doing. Filthy Empire, our debut album, came out in February of last year, and we were just like, we just want to tour every day as much as possible until someone drags us back in the studio, because that's what we love doing. Now, when you're on the road, do you guys keep producing, writing stuff? Or? Uh, we, well, it's, it was new to us, so we, ne we instead of doing the sensible thing and doing that, we just wanted to have a great time seeing all the new places, so right. we, yeah. we just got hammered and played shows. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of the way to do it. Yeah, yeah. And then we were like, oh, we need to do a second album. Second album, that's what people do. I forgot, yeah. That's right. So are you working on new stuff now? Yeah, kind of. We're, we're about to go back. We've got a couple of shows. We're doing a Sweden rock in Sweden, obviously. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got, we got a show in London with Aerosmith. I saw that. Yeah, that'd be awesome. And, and then we're done for a, uh, like a couple of months to start writing. And yeah. then dive back into it? Yeah, and then we'll probably get bored and do some more touring and then do the album. <laughs> What's, now, what is the, how do you guys go about the writing and, and recording process? Is it is it something where you, you're going to sequester yourselves into a specific area, lock yourselves down, or do you just kind of let it free flow? We normally just head to Sid's house and it's basically just get the creative juices flowing and play as much as possible together. Just it's The most important thing is there's four guys in the band, all four of us have got to get off on what we're playing because it's us up on stage all the right. time. So we just write music or try and write music that turns us on as listeners as opposed to just playing it you right. know what I mean and so we'll start from there and then just kind of start honing in the songwriting craft after that but it's normally like there's no written rule it's just see what happens kind of thing no one really writes everything it's just a bit of a jam fest and then some people go off and do their own thing as well very good. I, uh, I always try to open up to uh, social media and let, let the listeners have an opportunity to ask a, a question for you. Um, Angela Eide asked in on Facebook, what is the most mind-blowing or shocking thing that you've seen on, on your pretty much non-stop tour for over a year now? Oh, I mean, you see everything. <laughs> There's yeah. so many different things. Like from either having the most awesome party with like some of your heroes like in a fucking cool hotel or being held at gunpoint in some dodgy ass smoke shop like in a back alley somewhere did that happen yeah like wow. two days ago really <laughs> where were you at i can't remember but it, it was <laughs> we were at a bad place <laughs> we were somewhere, yeah. it's like we've uh, trouble i want well trouble we find trouble basically yeah hmm. yeah troublemakers the stuff happens i mean put it this way you're out on the road with your best mates right you are essentially being fed alcohol and yeah. being paid to just go off and have fun so yeah stuff goes down it, weird things happen <laughs> weird things happen. Point. yeah let's that, get weird that's all there is to it you guys thank you so much for making it back around to captain morgan stage at 320 autographs at seven and uh once again can't wait to see you guys thank you man Cheers Cheers to have a fantastic day heaven's basement speaking of which let's throw in some heaven's basement shall we this is nothing left to lose live from rock fest thank you guys Ooh,